So, we meet again. Hey you guys, how's everybody doing today? Lovely Monday, okay. Um, we will get started at the usual time, uh, two o'clock East Coast time. In the meantime, I'll just say hello to the Corleys, Maddie, Julie, Josh, Abby, uh, Ian, Erica, Ava, Chase, Henry from Kentucky, uh, Aylin, uh, Lauren, Emily, and Madeline, and Lincoln, and Connor. Hi to all of you. Silas, Joel in Ohio, Jesse in Oakland, uh, Michael and Christina, Javen and Johan, the, um, Billy Bob, Lucy, Evan, jo Jones, Silas, and Quinn, uh, Alana. Hi to all of you. Jensen, Kinsey, thanks for coming. Braden and Michaela in Georgia, Emily and Nat Natalie are here. Um, okay, <laughs> you want to switch it up? Hattie and uh, Matteo and Gianluca, uh, Teddy in Akron, Ohio. Hi. The Maslowski kids and uh, Eli and Molly and uh, Zach, uh, Isla, Ellie, Liz, uh, Solomon, Zachary. I'm so glad you're all here. Grantster is here. Uh, Dylan and Juliet, Lucas, Jordan in Rochester, Nora and Eloise. Jack and Ben and Addison, Preston, Liam, uh, Mary and June from Long Island, Aaron is here in Hudson, uh, Evan and Luke and uh, John, thanks so much for coming, all of you guys. We'll get started in four minutes. Zachary and Daniel, Jackson, Haley, Christian, Emma and Elliot, Tessa, Lila, um, Hayden. <clears throat> Uh, good. Everybody's coming in. I see there's we have 257 of us already. If you have some friends or neighbors or uh, relatives you want to call up on the phone, tell them to get over to Facebook right now. And of course, as you know, you can also watch this later. Uh, and at the end of the week, it'll all be posted on my, my website too, which is just www.dangutman.com. Uh, we'll start in three. In the meantime, hi to Gavin in Pennsylvania. Christian, Daniel, Ellie from Illinois, <clears throat> Jace, Ashlyn, and Bo are here from Michigan. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> Tyler's here, and Susie and Shmaya in St. Louis. Hope I pronounced that right, Shmaya. Uh, and Nate the Great is here. Uh, the, the Cernovitz family are here, and uh, Hattie. Hi to all of you. We're going to have some fun today. I'm going to read a new book. It's very exciting. I always like to start a new book on Monday, finish it on Friday. Alex and Luke, Anne, Kevin, Carolyn. We got uh, two minutes to go. Uh, Maria in Texas is here, and so is uh, Emily and Allie in New Jersey. Mrs. Duncan is here from Virginia. I like it when grown ups come. Uh, Jacob and Amelia, uh, Lucas and Allison. Um, and uh, Daniel and Leah McCloskey are here. Isabel from Erie, PA. Uh, Max and Sam. Daniel and Victoria. Hi to all of you. We're going to have some fun. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully everybody will have a good time. Smith Kids from Texas are here. Logan. <clears throat> Everybody's here. And we'll get started in one minute, or less than one minute. Uh, the Haney family from Alabama, Logan and Hudson. And Amelia from Coldwell, New Jersey. Uh, uh, Clara and Liliana are back, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you like my shirt today. St Stephen, or Stephen, Billy Sickles. Uh, Evan is here, and uh, it's almost go time. It's going to be go time. I better take a quick sip before it's go time. Okay, I'm ready. You guys ready? Good. Okay, get in, get in shape. <laughs> I gotta dance around at the end, so I have to be in shape. Okay. On your mark, get set. Snap with me. It's go time, baby. Hi everyone, Dan Gutman here. Uh, I am the author of the My Weird School series and lots of other books for kids too. 
And uh, it's Monday. It's Monday. You know what that means? Yeah, we get to start a new book on Monday. This is going to be great. But before we get to that new book, let's do our question of the day first, which comes from William and Nora in New York. And William and Nora asked, have you always written children's books? Did you ever want to write something else? Uh, the answer is actually, um, no, I didn't always write children's books. I spent like 15 years writing for grown-ups. I wrote newspaper articles. I wrote magazine articles. I tried writing screenplays. And uh, I, um, I wrote a number of books about baseball, actually. Uh, like here's my, my first baseball book was called It Ain't Cheating If You Don't Get Caught uh, for Grown-Ups. It was about rule bending in baseball. This book came out in 1990. <laughs> and the other baseball book I'm proud of is... Uh, Banana Bats and Ding Dong Balls. And this was about uh, like a history of baseball technology, like the catcher's mask and the shin guards and the radar gun, things like that. This came out in 95. And between that time, uh, my son, Sam, was born. And I started reading a lot of children's books for the first time since I was a kid. And I, I thought, let's try writing for kids. So I decided to try writing for kids. And as soon as I started writing for kids, I felt, this is what I'm good at. This is what I should have been doing all along. So I switched over to writing for kids and the rest is history. Okay, so let's get to our book of the week, which is titled, Ms. Joni is a Phony. Okay, this book is number seven in the My Weirderest School series. And let's start by reading the back cover together, as we always do, so you can get a sense of what the book is about. Let's read it together, you guys. Um, Wait a minute, let me hold this. Okay, it's picture day at elementary school. This year, Mr. Klutz has hired a weird photographer, Ms. Joni. She keeps saying, fabulous, and she wants to turn AJ into a supermodel. But what happens when the picture day zombie makes an appearance? Run for your lives. All right, so now you get a sense of what it's all about. This book has uh, our usual 10-ish chapters, 10 chapters, and so that means we could do two a day. We'll, fit, we'll start today, finish the book on Friday, like we always do. Okay, you guys ready? Gather around your big screen TV, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone. Let's get going. Okay, chapter one is titled Zombie Free Zone. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> My name is AJ and I hate zombies. Zombies are dead people who come back to life. That's weird. I've never seen a zombie in the real world. But after I go to sleep, my dad watches this TV show about zombies. And one night I sneaked over to the top of the stairs to watch. It was scary. Here's a Jim's picture of AJ hiding at the top of the stairs watching while his dad is watching a uh, TV show about zombies. Okay. <clears throat> After that, I was sure there was a family of zombies living in my bedroom closet. I told my dad, and he got out the vacuum cleaner and used it to suck up all the zombies that were living in my closet. It was like Ghostbusters. But I'm not going to use my closet anymore just to be on the safe side. And I'm never going to use the vacuum cleaner because there's a family of zombies living inside it. Don't worry. There's nothing else about zombies in this book. Don't you hate it when you're reading a book and they start talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the book? Anyway, it was Friday, my third favorite day of the week. Why is Friday my third favorite day of the week? Because on Friday, there's no school tomorrow. My teacher, Mr. Cooper, came flying into the room. Mr. Cooper thinks he's a superhero, but he's not a very good one because he slipped on a sheet of paper and almost slammed his head into the cloakroom door. Mr. Cooper was carrying an armful of papers and they scattered all over the place when he fell. And here's Jim's picture of Mr. Cooper coming into the classroom as he usually does and falling and almost hurting himself. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Guess what? Mr. Cooper asked. Your butt, said Michael, who never ties his shoes. 
You ate a cashew nut, said Ryan, who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. You got a crew cut, said Alexia, this girl who rides a skateboard all the time. You went to Pizza Hut, said Neil, who we call the nude kid even though he wears clothes. Anytime somebody asks, guess what? You should always answer with obnoxious rhymes. That's the first rule of being a kid. No, said Mr. Cooper. Monday will be picture day. Everybody take one of these forms and bring it home to your mom or dad to fill out. Eek! Picture day! yelled Andrea Young, this annoying girl with curly brown hair. I love picture day! Me too, said Emily, who always loves everything that Andrea loves. We have to draw pictures, I asked. What's the big deal? We draw pictures all the time. No, dumbhead, Andrea told me, rolling her eyes. Picture day is when a photographer comes to the school and takes our picture for the yearbook. I was going to say something mean to Andrea but she and the girls were jumping up and down and freaking out about picture day. What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? In case you were wondering, all the girls were asking what they were going to wear. Ah, girls are always worried about what they're going to wear. If you're a girl and you're reading this, let me give you a clue. Nobody cares what you wear. You could all wear laundry bags over your heads and I wouldn't notice. Come to think of it, it would be cool if all the girls came to school wearing laundry bags over their heads. And here's Jim's picture of all the girls at school with laundry bags over their heads. <laughs> I'm going to wear my new blue dress, said Andrea. I'm gonna wear my new blue dress too, said Emily who always does everything Andrea does. Ugh, I'm going to wear whatever is on top of my drawer. I'm going to wear my new shades, said Ryan. Why would you take the shades off your windows, I asked. It would be weird to wear window shades. Not those kinds of shades, dumbhead, said Ryan. Shades are sunglasses. Oh, I knew that, I lied. Why are you going to wear shades on picture day? Because shades look cool, Ryan told me. Secret agents always wear shades. I want to look like a secret agent in the yearbook. Ryan is weird. I hate picture day. You want to know the thing I hate the most about picture day? I'm not going to tell you. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. But you have to read the next chapter. So na 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 boo boo on you. All right, that's chapter one. You guys ready for chapter two? Which is called The Torture Department. All right, here we go. Bless you. <laughs> the thing I hate most about picture day is that my mom forces me to buy new clothes. Ugh, I hate shopping. And the worst kind of shopping is clothes shopping because you have to spend hours trying on clothes. I don't mind grocery shopping so much. You don't have to try stuff on at the supermarket. Like, you don't have to try on the bananas before you buy them. That would be weird. Let's go, AJ, my mom shouted up the stairs on Saturday morning. We have to get you new clothes for picture day. What's wrong with my old clothes, I hollered back. You'll have the picture for the rest of your life, my mom said. That way, you'll know what you looked like when you were in third grade. Don't you want to look nice for the picture? No. It isn't fair. I thought only the girls had to care about looking nice. Boys should be allowed to look like slobs. That's the first rule of being a boy. I could have begged and pleaded and cried and freaked out. Sometimes that works. But I knew there was no arguing with my mom. When your mom wants to go shopping, there's no stopping her. That's the first rule of being a mom. We drove a million hundred miles to the department store. A department store is a store that has a lot of departments. 
so it has the perfect name. My mom got a shopping cart. You know it's bad news when your mom gets a shopping cart because that means she's planning to be shopping for a long time. Ugh. But shopping carts are cool too because it's fun to run around the department store pushing a cart and bumping into stuff. We wheeled our cart past the furniture department. We wheeled our cart past the kitchen department. We wheeled our cart past the garden department. Man, department stores have a lot of departments. Finally, we got to the boys department, or as I call it, the torture department. And you'll never believe what was in the boys department. Boys! Well, of, of course there were boys in the boys department. That's why it called, it's called the boys department. But the boys in the boys department weren't just any boys. They were my friends, Michael, Ryan, and Neil. And here's uh, <clears throat> AJ and his friends in the boys department at the department store. <clears throat> what are you guys doing here, I asked. The same thing you're doing here, grumbled Michael. We have to buy new clothes for picture day, grumbled Ryan. Bummer in the summer, grumbled Neil. The guys were all with their mothers. None of our dads were there. I can't wait until I'm a dad so I won't have to go clothes shopping anymore. Actually, my mom wanted my dad to come, but he said he would rather poke hot needles in his eyes than go clothes shopping. That was weird. I don't know why anybody would want to poke hot needles in their eyes. Our moms were all gabbing about the weather and other boring stuff that grown-ups talk about. That's when this salesman came over. His name tag said, Mr. Bob. And here's a picture of the salesman, Mr. Bob, approaching the, uh, the boys in the uh, boys' department. What can I do for you, young men? Mr. Bob asked us. You can close the store early so we can get out of here, I told him. Very funny, AJ, said my mom. Mr. Bob, these boys need new clothes for picture day. Aha, picture day. You boys came to the right place, said Mr. Bob. What are your favorite colors? Yellow, said Ryan and Neil. Plaid, said Michael. Orange, I said. These boys need plain dark pants, white shirts, dark jackets, and ties, said Ryan's mom. Ties? Really? I hate ties. What's the deal with ties? Ties are dumb. The last time I wore a tie, I thought I was going to choke. Mr. Bob led us to a rack of boring looking man clothes for boys. Then we had to go to the fitting room to try them on. The fitting room is the only good thing about the torture department. They have a mirror in there that lets you see yourself from three sides all at the same time. That is cool. And it's even cooler when you stick your face right next to the line where the two mirrors meet. Hey, look, I told the guys. I have one eye in the middle of my head. We spent a million hundred hours trying on clothes. I thought I was going to die. Mr. Bob had to keep running back and forth getting other clothes because our moms were never satisfied. Poor Mr. Bob. I can't believe he has to work in the torture department every day. Mr. Bob should get a medal or a new job. Are you kids almost done in there? shouted Michael's mom. Finally, we all had on our new suits. Mr. Bob helped us tie our ties. We looked just like our dads, but shorter. So naturally, we had to play a game I call pretend to be your dad. Look, I'm Mr. Businessman, I told the guys as we looked in the mirror. Give me your money. You're fired said Ryan. Let's read the newspaper and go play golf. Nice weather we're having, said Michael. I need some coffee. I'm a funeral director, said Neil. After we bury the bodies, let's go watch the game. 
our moms were calling us, so we had to stop playing pretend to be your dad and come out of the fitting room. Mr. Bob lined us up, just like they do at the police station with bank robbers. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. Our moms burst out crying. Aren't they handsome? Blubbered my mom. They look so grown up. Blubbered Michael's mom. And here's a picture of all the moms crying when they see the boys dressed up in their, in their, um, in their picture day outfits. They look so grown up, blubbered Michael's mom. Sheesh, get a grip. The moms were sobbing and slobbering all over the place. They started pulling tissues out of their purses and blowing their noses into them. Well, they were blowing their noses into the tissues, not into their purses. It would be weird to blow your nose into a purse. I can't believe my baby Ryan looks so mature and grown up, said Ryan's mom. It seems like only yesterday that he was wearing diapers. You were wearing diapers yesterday, I asked Ryan. The moms took out their cell phones and started taking pictures of us. You know what a bunch of moms are called when they take pictures of you? Mamarazzi. Get it? Say cheese, my mom shouted. Ugh, why do you have to say cheese every time somebody takes your picture? What does cheese have to do with pictures? I don't even like cheese. Stop scowling, boys, said Mr. Bob. Smile for the camera. You look very handsome, AJ, said my mom. I look terrible, I replied. I hate getting my picture taken. Don't mind my son, mom told Mr. Bob. He says he hates everything. I understand, Mr. Bob replied. I was a boy once. Just once, I said. I'm a boy all the time. Mr. Bob is a nut job. The mamarazzi took pictures of us from every possible angle. After a while, my face hurt from smiling. Finally, we were finished in the torture department. My mom paid for the suit and I pushed our shopping cart out to the parking lot. That's when I got the greatest idea in the history of the world. Hey mom, I said, since you took all those pictures of me in my new suit, we don't need to take any pictures on picture day. So can I stay home from school on Monday? No. All right, that's chapter two. Boy, where's Miss Joni? She hasn't shown up yet. I think she's gonna show up tomorrow when we get to picture day, chapter three. All right, okay, so before we leave, how about the joke of the day? You ready for it? All right, this joke comes from Charles in Iowa. Hi, Charles. Charles, uh, here's Charles' joke. <clears throat> what do frogs drink when they're trying to lose weight? Hmm? What do frogs drink when they're trying to lose weight? Diet croak. <laughs> All right, if you don't like that joke, you can blame Charles in Iowa. All right, so it's time for you guys to get off the couch, stop staring at screens, and thank Josh Salzman and Ryan Cunningham for our, our theme song. You know what it is. You like it. You love it. Let's do it. My weird school. I'm AJ and my school's a mess. My weird school. Before a school, it's fine, I guess. My weird school where art is cool and the teachers are strange as a rule. Where younger than walkers give me Daisy is crazy. Mrs. Cody is loony and the lady is zany. And then there's a principal. His name's Mr. Klutz. And man, oh man, man he's, he's that man nuts. nuts. Hey, you guys. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. <clears throat> Read like crazy. Wash your hands like crazy. See you then. Bye.